You know what's great about Black Friday sales in the mall? You can actually bring it home and you don't have to worry about pesky workers going on strike. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and as of this video going up, it will be Cyber Monday, and this video is being filmed a couple days in advance, so the situation might have changed a little bit, I fully admit that up front, and if it has, there will probably be a follow-up video uh, the next day or so. But Amazon employees are definitely sick and tired of poor working conditions. Now, I know we talk a lot about Uber and Lyft and the gig economy, it's kind of the bread and butter, and we are treated horribly. In fact, there will probably be another video about them somewhere else today, or tomorrow, or yesterday. You know, it's just really, really bad. But Amazon workers really take the cake. They deal with so much garbage. And here's an interesting thing about Amazon employees. There is a new column from an anonymous Amazon employee that's writing for The Guardian. And I'm going to be reading that article very, very carefully, and I might be reporting on some of the articles. And they were talking about how when they go to work and they are introduced to the company of the culture, they have a pyramid. And the pyramid at the top is the customer. And underneath at the way, way bottom is the CEO. And somewhere in the second tier is the Amazonians, as they call them, the employees. The Amazon employees are just underneath the customers because without them, there is no company. They are the ones who package it. They ship it. They make sure Amazon customers are happy. And the person was looking at that and they were kind of like, huh, you know, it's kind of ironic how true the pyramid actually is, because in a sense, we are the most important part of the company outside of the customers, and the CEO is the least important part. And yet, this is trickle-down economics working in the reverse, because for those of you who don't know, trickle-down economics, in theory anyway, is that, hey, if the people at the top make money, it will eventually trickle down. But with this pyramid, it's like, so here's the Amazonians, the employees, they're at this level, Here's the customer, they're way up here, and they provide all the work, the hard, the sweat, the labor, the bad knees, the bad backs that never gets reported on, and yet the profits all go down here, and yet they put on the biggest strain of it all. So it was a very interesting article. I'm looking forward to more articles about that, but some P Amazonians are sick and tired of it, and they vowed to strike Friday. And by the way, I can confirm that they did strike, and something tells me this strike will last into today, which is Cyber Monday, which, by the way, is pretty much an Amazon-created shopping holiday. Amazon decided, like, hey, you know, we're going to just create our own little thing, and so when people say Cyber Monday, it's basically Amazon Shopping Day, but whatever. So according to TW, um, German trade union Verdi has called for strikes on one of the busiest days of the year for Amazon. Workers want to use the day to draw attention to poor working conditions as set as the online retail giant. Okay, this might be a translated article, so it's going to be a little funny worded. But workers at Amazon warehouses in Hesse and North Rhine, Westphalia have vowed to walk off the job on Friday, hoping to disrupt one of the busiest days of the year for the company. German trade company trade union Verdi called for its workers at Amazon warehouses in Bad Hersfeld and Rheinberg or Rheinberg. Rayenberg, I, I'm pronouncing that wrong, I know I am, to strike at the beginning of the night shift on Thursday and continue the work stoppage until the end of Friday. Okay, we're going to stop for a second right here because here's the thing. People always say, well, if you take one day off Uber and Lyft, you will hit them hard. You will hit their pockets. And I've always felt this is a fallacy. I mean, it would be as Wilson Fisk from daredevil slash spider-man i've been playing the spider-man game and he plays a prominent role says after spider-man takes down all of his operations and he's in jail and he can't set the operations again until he's out of jail and spider-man says well looks like i have ruined your, your um oh i've ruined your empire i have ruined your method of operation and wilson fisk says you have inconvenienced me and for that, I will remember. That's one of the problems. You have done nothing but inconvenience the companies. Now, no, don't get me wrong. Not working on Black Friday, that is a huge inconvenience to Amazon. A huge inconvenience. But when you decide to strike for one day and then you go back to work, it's just that. It's an inconvenience. Amazon knows you're coming back to work. 
and the stuff will be a day late. And they might have to give like $2 coupons to the people whose stuff was late. Now, granted, that's again, that's a lot of money, especially all the people who buy from Amazon. But it's not, how should I put this? It's not the big disruption I think they're going to think it's going to be. But let's continue. Friday is a major sale day for retailers, particularly Amazon, with shoppers looking for deals on the American-inspired shopping day known as Black Friday. Union Secretary <laughs> Mechtild Medecki, I think that's how you pronounce it, said the end-of-the-year rush is the most stressful time for employees, which is not lying, demanding longer, long hours of overtime. Employees are particularly important on a day like Black Friday. The commitment of the employees must be better rewarded by a higher salary and by a collective, collectively agreed Christmas bonus, she said. So you see, this is definitely about the bonus, which I've reported on. Amazon said that they were raising minimum wage. They were even raised, I think, looks like they might be either raising wages overseas or maybe they just don't give bonuses out overseas in general. But the bonus has been a big sticking point for Amazonians who are not going to get it this year. So keep that in mind when you buy your IT 4K uh, discs from Amazon. Four years of strike action. Silk Zimmer, head of the Verdi Regional Trade Department in North Rhine, Westphalia, said the Black Friday discount campaign was detrimental to the workers. Quote, employees currently have to fill up the shelves for the Christmas business as well as send thousands of Black Friday offers. This results in a lot of overtime, which is paid much worse than in the case with companies subject to collective bargaining. In such condi conditions, the absence of a collective bargaining agreement becomes Painfully clear, Zimmer explained. Unfortunately, employees still have to make this clear to the online giant even after four years of strike action, which is why the industrial action measures will be continued today and tomorrow. So that sounds like they might have done more than one day. For years, Verdi has fought for a collective bargaining agreement for Amazon employees and for them to be paid according to the retail and mail order rates. Amazon have so far rejected Verdi's demands which, of course, they're going to do. So anyway, that's what Amazon looks like in Germany. So yeah, uh, as you probably figured out, I will not be shopping on Cyber Monday. Uh, granted, I bought enough stuff on Black Friday that Cyber Monday would really be indulging. I just got like three gifts left to get people. I did the vast majority on Black Friday. I mean, heck, if I'm going to be out there you know, in those lines with those with everyone, I'm going to get as much of the Christmas shopping done as humanly possible. And I did. So, um, you know, I even I even got all my family's Christmas gifts done, except for my sister in law, who not going to lie, having a hard time figuring that one out. Um, just don't know what to get her, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I will not be shopping on Cyber Monday. Obviously, none of my purchases were from Amazon. But, of course, the irony is, the, the yearly irony for me, of course, is that I update my Amazon wish list because that is the most convenient way to let people know what I would like. But I always send them the list and say, oh, by the way, it'd be nice if you didn't buy this from Amazon. But anyway, good for the employees for striking, though. I mean, seriously, good for them. I wish Uber drivers had a, as much discipline even to do it for one day. Because here's the thing. Well, I think... You need to strike for more than one day. I think I'd say strike the whole weekend. Strike the whole weekend. Make an entire weekend full worth of orders just, you know, backlogged and do some real harm to the company. Don't go back to work till Tuesday or heck Wednesday. Let's stretch until Wednesday. Because then they have back orders of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and a pissed customer is one that doesn't come back. And that's what Amazon wants to avoid as per their pyramid chart. But you know what, a day strike, that's better than what most Uber and Lyft drivers will do. So what do you folks think? Do you think this is going to work? Do you agree with this? Do you disagree? I would love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even this little $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one. And, um, uh, yeah, support, buy from your local stores, support the local economy.